Hey guys, welcome back to Small Trees. Really quick before I start, I just noticed that we're almost to 4,000 subscribers, which is just crazy to me. Uh, I wanted to thank you guys for all the support and love and the great ideas. Um, I'm just truly thankful for everything. Okay, so a few days ago, I mentioned doing a bit of a comparison between in-ground growing with native soil and growing trees in prepared beds. I had some time today, so I did a little filming and I want to show you how much of a difference good soil and consistent watering can make. I also ended up showing a couple trees that I'm super excited to work, uh, but I'll put that in the beginning. So keep watching after that if you want to see what a year of growth looks like for me. Uh, my soil recipe is in here somewhere too if you don't know. I did film an intro saying all of this, but the camera did not like how pale I am, so I just cut it out. Well, here's a snapshot. You, know, you get the idea. So uh, now I mentioned earlier, I wanted to show you um, a pomegranate that I'm really excited about. It's right next to where I am. I'll, I'll, I wanna give you a peek at this tree too. This one, uh, not very tall. I think the tallest bit of it is, is right there. Relative to the rest, it's not nearly as tall. But this is the, the one that we did um, pretty extensive root work on in the spring and uh, this, I'm going to move to the side a little bit. Um, this is a root graft that we did in the spring uh, on the back side over here. And I could have removed this earlier in the year, um, but I decided it won't hurt to leave it. I'll peek at it again in the spring because uh, I can't really see the exit side, which is what you're, you know, more concerned with. Um, if it's fused well in the spring, I will remove this. But I want you to look at the base of this tree. And this is just insane. There's another little tree there, okay. Um, and I, I can't fully um, dig it up or anything, but I will try to put a thumbnail or a link to the, the spring work of this tree so you can see what, um, the progress it's made just in a year so you can see my hand um and it even i don't think i can zoom anymore oh i can a little bit but look how huge the base of this tree is the nabar on this tree you're insane this is what i exactly what i hoped for in the spring uh was for it had really really flat right here on the bar i left them pretty long like out to like here um because i wanted it to grow strongly i wanted those to hopefully fuse at the base and that is exactly what is happening you can see and this thing goes it's really hard to get a camera uh, angle for it i will show um in the spring when i work it we'll, we'll get a really good look at it but it goes um all the way i don't know if you can see my finger all the way out here it's just a really really huge great nabari that we've gotten and this tree is two years old, might be three. Um, I think it, it was a seedling. It grew for a year last year and we worked the roots and it grew this year. So if you count the seedling, it, well, I guess it will be a third year tree. Um, and that's, I mean, this is consistent. This is what I can do with my soil and with my technique. So I'm really um, excited that what I'm doing is working. And I really hope that, uh, that you guys kind of enjoy this too, because this is, um, you know, what I like to do. I like to build trunks, build bases, build nabari. Uh, I'm not a, um, a great, you know, bonsai expert or anything, but this is something I'm good at and I enjoy doing it. So, so this I bought on um, one of the Facebook pages about a year ago and we planted in the ground because i've seen how much these other trees that i've got the other pomegranates how much they twist in a year uh, or two you know so i uh, bought it and i stuck it in the ground and i'm going to move my camera really quick and i'm going to show you what this looks like from the side and it's really going to be um really fun to work with that thing these guys are troopers they're hanging in there she's a gardener Look at the twist on it, and uh, the primary planting angle 
is going to be the left a little bit, but there's a tree in the way. But you can see, I'm going to try to let the okay, let the camera go. You can see the twist that we've already got. Um, over here, you can see the whole thing is starting to twist. It's going to be a great air layer up in here somewhere. But uh, for the actual tree itself, I'm going to let it grow for another year at least and let this thing really really go um, you can see obviously the twists that are forming here and they wrap around the tree they come up here and there's gonna be a really interesting decision to be made um, I, I haven't touched this tree but it's got like a ton of stuff that I would have wanted already um, it has this sacrifice branch down here that will thicken, thicken the trunk. It has what could be a primary, uh, like a first branch here. It has some growth on the back that will be removed, but that'll be great for cuttings or air layers. Um, this twist continues up. Um, and then we're left with the question, do we want this to be uh, part of the, like the, the top, the leader? going forward or do we want the smaller one here um, and kind of get some taper and it's gonna be one of the things that I'm gonna have to look at um, next year whenever I decide to work it um, the great thing about the twisted pomegranates is with the twisty like curling nature of the tree reverse taper is not really as much of a consideration you don't want something that's glaring but it twists and it, it bulges in places and that's just kind of the nature of how uh, you know the trees grow so you can kind of forgive a little bit of that so that gives you a little more opportunity um, to work with so this is one that I'm really excited about um, in I would say two years this will be a, a very nice tree that I can either I'll either keep or I will sell I may um, post it on my website or something we'll see okay so if you can remember um, at the beginning of the year we um, this area was was cleared and I planted a bunch of trees here um, I did a bunch of them through a bunch of different kinds of materials just to see you know what would happen and you can kind of see from the shot they didn't they didn't do as well as we would like um, this I'm sure if you didn't already know this is the um, the project tree we have about a hundred or 150 uh, seedlings that are wired together on a frame here and the hope is that they will fuse into one big tree in just a couple of years um, I'll give you an update on that but not right now I want to find a couple that look like they may have had a little bit of um, decent growth so we can kind of peek at the roots here's one that grew pretty well uh, this is about, I'll zoom in on it, but it's about an inch, maybe a hair over an inch in width. And it's about, still only about four feet tall. That's about the tallest that I've got, except for these. And these are just three or four trees, actually about five trees that I stuck in the ground together. I didn't have time to work the roots, so those are going to be a mess in the spring. But um, let's dig down on this one, since this one grew a little bit better. Say hello, Maggie. You know, a little over an inch. So this one grew better than most. Most of them were um, half inch at best. But let's dig a little bit. And again, I don't know, I don't remember which tree this was, but we're going to, I'm gonna poke down just a little bit and see if we have i feel like these were all planted on something yeah this one was planted on a metal plate i can feel it down there um so the you know the goal here and i've got actually got some feeder roots in this kind of sandy soil i'm surprised and i don't really want to mess them up especially since they haven't grown great this year so let's find another one and maybe we'll have something to look at we'll just go one tree over it's kind of planted at an angle you can see um, it's at a, about a 45 degree angle from the ground and it is 
again about four feet tall and, um, and that may have been due to the soil it may have been due to the um, the amount of weeds that grew before I was able to actually get in here and clean it up um, we'll find out next year I may I, I kind of plan to hopefully this whole area um, replace the soil and make it kind of like my other raised beds so we'll see if that um, if that comes to fruition but anyway so this one was planted at an angle coming into like some empty open patches down here I don't know if there is a mole or if I'm um, you know if there's a snake or something I'm kind of scared there are a lot of black widows out here um, that I've noticed while I was cleaning up so I've got to be uh, kind of extra careful and I'm sorry if you hear my dogs in the background but it did just rain a little while ago they've been cooped up and they're getting some of their energy out so I'm gonna encourage that still kind of digging down and no oh this one is this one was planted through um, kind of like chicken wire so this was one of the ones that we were wondering if there's some big ants we were wondering if the um, the roots would go down through the chicken wire and then spread and go down and repeat and make it you know, a really nice fat base. Um, I'm kind of struggling to get to it without uprooting this. I may have planted it a little bit too deep is what it kind of looks like, but um, digging with my fingers nonetheless. So you can, you can see right down in here the, the chicken wire material. So let me try to keep the camera there with my hand and dig a little what it feels like is got a lot of fine feeder roots up here not a lot of thick roots so while I've got a few you can see kind of here over here and let's see there's one here it does not really seem to be quite the uh, result that I hope for. However, this did grow pretty well. So um, in the spring, when I dig it, we'll be able to look at it and get a whole lot more kind of information on it. Um, but this was more just to kind of give you an idea of, you know, the growth that I get um, without any special care. And then, you know, I'm going to take you over to the garden. Okay, so um, I'm over here at the garden and I just showed you, you know, the size of uh, the trees that we've got over there. Um, again, just in case, you can maybe, you know, see them over there. Um, and we're gonna compare them to what we've got uh, in my garden, in my growing beds. Beds are kind of unkempt. They are due to be, I'm gonna replace this mulch, I think, with gravel or something like that um i haven't decided yet but anyway uh here are my growing beds we're gonna just kind of take a quick peek at what we get on our first years and these were um all the same size as the ones over there or uh, maybe slightly larger at the beginning of the year um but this is the growth that we got kind of across the board you can see so they're all about uh, almost double the size it varies um, based on the tree you know some are gonna be wild fast growers and, and some are not but we've got you know, um, you know these are I think these were all planted on washers so these are um, kind of a mixed bag I'm not sold on the washer idea but you can see at least the trunk size easily bigger uh, by far compared to the others um, I think you can probably remember this one I think I just pointed at it in a video in the spring um, this is when you can see the washer um, the soil is kind of eroded around it so we've got a mess of a, a root ball here correctable though um, it does have some nice fusing on the side but again um, you know that's the size we've got a few that are a little bit smaller um, and they all got weird, weird roots to them. But um, 
See this one is um, a little over half an inch thick I would think. We've got some that I definitely did not touch that are kind of in the back, stuck back here. Um, and they're half an inch or a little over probably. Um, but you see the, the minimum that I've gotten from these trees is well, let's see if we can find the shortest the shortest tree out here um we've got some pomegranates that are shorter but those don't grow quite as much in a growing season i'm really excited about some of these i'm going to show you uh one in particular that i'm really excited to work on um some of these are the one over there is like 20 feet tall anyway um but that one was already established um let's see here's one that uh, was probably slightly larger at the beginning of the year but let's see if i can dig around it a little bit look at look at that look at the size of that tree that is um probably two and a half inches maybe um I do have a lot of little pomegranates and some of these did get uh, shaded out by other trees so there are probably a couple that are a little bit smaller um, that is a spider web and there's probably a black widow in there not gonna stick my hand in there but that's um, probably two inches or a little bit above but in general you know the project trees that we looked at um, and I can't remember if we did these this spring I think we did I think we should done this spring um, you know they're 14 15 feet tall um so we're really really doing uh seeing a big difference here between my ground uh you know what i've made and in case you're wondering uh, i know i'm gonna get asked i'll be happy to repeat it uh, in comments or whatever but this soil is um usually like uh turfus or uh, Turpus is what I used. Um, any kind of calcined clay or something to break up the soil, keep it from compacting a lot. Um, a bag of that with a, a bag of regular potting soil. And then I would add in um, probably about a half a bag of composted cow manure for fertilizer. But then, of course, I fertilize during the year. But what you get with the turfus and uh, add it into the potting soil, you don't get the... the compaction and um you know that it helps the the feeder roots to, to stay near the surface um it's just generally better for the growth of the tree you can see the soil is loose it's been here for a year or two and it stays this way um so it's absolutely worth to get something if i can get the camera to, to focus on it um like these little it's having a little bit of trouble but you see the little pebble something in that consistency it doesn't have to be turfus but something like that a little rock that won't break down um, will make a huge difference i remember this guy oh. i had this one in a pot uh, last year but it i don't think the roots were very happy so i put it back in the ground to recover and it is very happy. I think it's probably put on a little bit of size and it has definitely recovered a lot this year. So, um, dogs are thirsty. They're drinking things they shouldn't be. So I think it's time for me to go inside. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, you guys want to go inside? Yeah, let's go.